Welcome to the Jeff Morris Worldwide Invitational Bocce Ball Court. If you've met Jeff Morris, consider yourself a lucky person. You're one of the rare of the few. Jeff Morris designed all of the graphics for the Wizard of Ads trilogy that essentially became the foundation for the Wizard Academy campus and Wizard Academy. Jeff Morris and his roustabout group of ragtag bocce ball playing friends uh, suggested that we have a bocce ball court on campus because, well, for one, it's such an awesome game. And so we started working on collecting money for the bocce ball court. Now, at the same time, there was a competition held and it was everybody submitting the first most interesting sentence that if read alone would make people desperately want to hear the rest of it, but it would have no idea what this story was about. And there's a collection on a plaque right here by the bocce ball court where you can read all the names of the people who submitted to this competition. But the person that won was Christina Graciano. And uh, I had the pleasure of actually being here with Christina and Vi Wickham when they got married at the chapel. And they are long time Hardcore Wizard Academy supporters. Now, I'm going to read you the quote that won the competition from Cristina Graciano. Dangling like this from his leg, his upside down perspective made him giddy. If this were to be his last moment, he would die happy, but it would not. Instead, he'd soon be singing karaoke with a group of Korean tourists. But first, the roller coaster. Now, if that's not a dang awesome first line of a book, that's a book that Christina needs to write. <laughs> now this bocce ball court was brought to you by these students and uh, we're gonna sh give a shout out to them right now because bocce ball is awesome. Those students are Ken Brand, Ann Pappenfuss, Robert Hendrickson, Oz Jackson, Greg Dunker, Sean Smith, Cruz Saunders, Dennis Cole, Dixie Stanforth, Dennis Collins, Amy Stokes, Tom Grimes, Angela Greenway, Philip Rosinski, Jack McManus, Luis, Luisa Eftaledo, Keita Spock, and Brian Schmidt. So thank you to you guys, and if you ever get to have a class with one of those people, make sure you thank them personally. And now, I'm gonna show you how to play bocce ball. Bocce ball is a game that has its origins in the Roman Empire. As a matter of fact, variants of this game date all the way back to then. And there's even a story of Sir Francis Drake playing a game that the British call bowls, that's a variation of bocce ball, and seeing the incoming Spanish Armada and saying, first we finish the game. Now that's our kind of worthless bastard. Now, the trick to bocce ball is you have your point ball, you toss this out, you gotta get it past the halfway point but not hit the back wall, and then the two players take turns trying to roll the different colored balls as close as they can to the point ball. At the end of all of the balls, balls being thrown, the person with the most closest or the closest ball gets the point. And if they've got more than one ball closer than their opponent's next closest, they get as many points as they have balls in there. If one of their balls is touching the lead ball, they get two points. And that's it. And you play to 10. Are you ready? It's time for a few more updates. So. Remember that class I talked about uh, a little bit before that was going to be me and Rex Williams and Brian Brushwood? It's launched. It's called How to Build an Audience with Video. It's going to be August 29th and 30th. Um, already have eight people signed up, so that means I have 10 rooms left on campus, and it's going to be awesome. So go ahead and head over there and register if you're ready for that one. Uh, don't forget that we're about to get into September now. And in September are the uh, whiskey classes, which means if you haven't done any of the sommelier courses and you want to become a whiskey sommelier, uh, that's going to be at the end of September. Also, go check that out. And also, once again, the reunion is coming up. Remember, it's October 7th on a Saturday. And last time I told you about Virginia Postural, this time I'm going to tell you another little tidbit of news that's happening at the reunion. And that is that I decided for the first time since I got here, I'm gonna do a live music performance uh, for the evening entertainment. And uh, so <laughs> that may or may not persuade you to come or cancel your plans, but either way, I'm gonna be doing that. And I may do it with uh, dragging in a few of my um, other musician friends in town. Um, but however, it's gonna be amazing. Um, and Aaron Konzelman is now gonna tell us what's coming up on American Small Business Institute this week. 
Welcome to the uh, update on what's happening on American Small Business Institute yes. this week. So who's coming up? All right, well this week we have coming up Dr. Richard Grant. And if you have never heard Dr. Grant before, you are gonna love it and be spellbound by the way he communicates. He's a yeah. master communicator. Now if I'm not mistaken, Dr. Grant now has a whole series we've been building yes. on American Small Business. Yes. So when they get to that video, are they gonna be able to click from there to see all the You're other Dr. Grant videos? You're gonna be able to see all of the back videos that Dr. Grant has done on communication, on relationships, on the MBTI, and the library he's taught where he goes a lot more in depth on all of those topics. So if you are a subscriber at the $100 level, remember you have access to all of those previous videos in the archive, the Ad Writing 101, all of Dr. Grant's and Roy's videos. Brilliant. Yep. Thank you, sir. I'm in the art gallery at the Wizard Academy and uh, I wish you were here with me. Until the next time we see each other, may your crazy stay this side of legal and may return before we have time to miss you. Cheers.